growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be. Five, four, three, two, one, and it's lit. And welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. And we got a special, special guest again, once again, in this house right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I've been bragging, you know what I'm saying? But shit, she finally here. Oh, Miss G in the building, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Oh, uh-huh. shit, where y'all find her ass? Uh-huh. Oh, what? <laughs> Yo, know what the lady in the house already. Hey, man, she, she granddaughtered in, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, she granddaughtered in all the way. Yeah, oh, man. Man. You know what I'm saying? Certified Triple D, Oak Cliff, that way, you know what I'm talking about? Deuce, deuce, and mo. you know what I'm talking about? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Square business. So tell everybody how you doing, Miss G. Shit, I'm doing wonderful, man. I thank y'all for having me. Yes. Uh, I'm full. I just ate. I'm feeling good. What you get? What you get to eat? No. I mean, I just got that new chicken sandwich. <laughs> McDonald's, and I don't even eat McDonald's, but that hoe. <laughs> oh, yeah. like yeah. with the mayo, all that motherfucker. Make sure y'all send that check this way. Oh, spicy sauce. Oh, yeah, it's going down with the spicy sauce. So, you know how we do it. You know what I'm saying? On Lit Podcast, you know, we get thrown. So, everybody, make sure you roll up your motherfucking sweets. Hit that motherfucking like and subscribe button. You know what I'm talking about? Miss G ain't smoking with us today, so she gonna keep it playing and sip on that motherfucking wine over there. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But what, what you pull up, nigga? What you, what you, what you, what you sipping say, on? She say the Scotto. Whoa, she got the Scotto. Oh, the pink. The Scotto. Yeah, that's the pink Scotto. You know, that motherfucker get you, get you warm in the motherfucker. Look, it had a Bellagio Moscato or some shit. Mm-hmm. This nigga can't read no Look, I couldn't read, but uh, <laughs> it had a B and, and, and some L's <laughs> and some IGO's in okay. it. <laughs> People who out there don't know, you know what I'm talking about. Like once again, this is Miss G in the building, and I want people to know how long you been doing music. I've been doing music since I was eight, but I started taking it serious when I was about 17, 18. 17, 18. So. I ain't finna tell y'all. Okay, 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 okay. No, we ain't got to. We ain't worried about that. It's been a long time. It's been some years, over five years, over six years. You know this. A long time. Grass grinding. You know what I'm talking about. So, what inspired you to do music? Uh, What inspired me? Uh, Who inspired you? So, like, I don't know. I really just started writing poems. So. What? You had a family, what? Singers or rappers, like, what? Oh, like, like, it was in your family. Like, I'm a musician, you know. I also play the drums, so oh, 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 oh okay. so music is in your family. Yes, yeah, break it family. down for us. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like my granny song, my mama sing, my daddy, Kai, still rapping. Uh, oh, <laughs> like, yeah, shit. ain't no wrong with you know what I'm it. I grew up in church, so right, it, you know, it's music, yeah, yeah, yeah. Church, well, you know, especially down here, shit, you know what I'm saying, everybody. Shit, especially you in that choir, your grandma finna drink. Come on, yeah. come on, everybody, come on, wake up, shit. Be like, damn. So that's, that's, that's why you've been in it since, mm-hmm. since eight. Yeah, it's just, it's just in yeah. me, really. Like, <coughs> I can't shake it. It's in me. And then plus, coming like, where, where you from? Cliffside. Cliffside. What part of Cliffside are you from? Beckley. Beckley. So you come. So for Beckley, for those who don't know about <laughs> Beckley, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of motherfuckers that come from Beckley. Apostle Paul, friend of my boy Apostle Paul. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Seven and all them. Yeah. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. It's going down. You know what I'm saying? Where she come from? You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, that little block right there, Saint yeah. Beckley. You know what I'm saying? Idaho. All that. My right, grandma. Yeah. yeah, all that. You know what I'm saying? That's where we from. We right there, Idaho. You know what I'm talking about? Keys Idaho. You know what I'm saying? That's my family block. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, third grade. Now, I come out. I'm old. You know what I'm saying? I come mm-hmm. from Burning Hills. You know what I'm saying? Biscayne, Tropicana. You know what I'm saying? Conway, Jackson Square. You know what I'm saying? Burn, uh, what's that? Uh, what's the other one? Uh, uh, you know, shit. I'm high. Shit. You know how I Put your old ass. Yeah, I'm old, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> But, he always uh outburst in y'all's interview. Huh? Then he always make outbursts in y'all's interview. It's the first time to the interview. That's, that's my boy Casey. Shout out Casey, you know what I'm saying? He be supporting. I know he just come here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's my boy Casey. This is the first day he got stranded here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Bianca okay. brought him here to do a song and now he's stuck. You know what I'm okay. saying? He's stuck in the studio. So that's how that, <laughs> that's how that goes. So Yeah, I knew he was kidnapped ahead of time. <laughs> It's, it's payback for what the hell they be doing to me. Okay, and shit. okay, I feel you on it. No, yeah, we be messing this shit up though. But he's he very talented, man. You need any type of like 
video graphics, cartoons, all that stuff. Building like he do, he do it all. Like mm -hmm. yeah, movies, okay, all I that. Yeah. Check it up. Sure. But what did you always want to be besides an artist? I want to be a basketball player. What? Mm -hmm. I want to play basketball. Okay, okay. shit. Yeah. You got skills. What was you? What? What? What, what was your position? <laughs> Yeah, no, you was a hooper, huh? I was just... Or you were a hooper, <laughs> was a hooper. Was, you know, she, I think I was a shooting guard, to be honest, but okay. she... They ain't never just say, you this. Right, I was just right. playing. Just playing. Yeah. But you like to shoot? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. We I was this. a good three-point shooter. Okay, yeah, shit. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. I was okay. my first, yeah. and my knee got bad, so uh, just... Oh, uh, look, 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 you ain't saying, man, I can't... Look, look, I got, I got hoop dreams with hoop stories, so that's what's up. Man, shit, hell. It seems like every time somebody try to be some, uh, do some sports or something, like something go wrong with shit. Back fucked up, knee I mean, fucked up. You, hey, that's a part of the, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, and you might friend. make it, you might, something might happen. So when did you, so when did you ever record your first song? I, co I recorded my first song when I was eight, on tape. Oh, with tissue in that motherfucker? Was no, not no, you had the tissue in that motherfucker? Uh, no. This dude from my church, he, uh, he had some, what the fuck you, how the fuck, I don't even know how the fuck he did that on, on the tape. But basically, recorded on tape, me and my sister, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a gospel song. Okay. He wrote he wrote it for it. That was the first time I actually recorded. And then, uh, some years later, I recorded again. And then from there, like, so boom, okay, I'm, I'm just going to take it like this. <laughs> so boom, right after, the, uh, <laughs> uh -oh. after that, when I was eight, okay, we did that. We, we performed that, me and my sister, uh, which he wrote for us. And then... I, my dad, we had moved to, uh, we had moved to Garden, and then my dad, his neighbor, had a studio. Mm -hmm. So, I used to, uh, just write songs. Mm -hmm. Before, before we moved, I was just writing songs anyway. Because I told you I was writing. Oh, I, wrote, I wrote my first rap at 11. Okay. After the poem shit, like, I was already writing poems. Right. So, mm -hmm. I, I wrote my actual, my actual first rap when I was, like, 11, 10, 11. Uh, so, where I was at? Okay, then, oh, at the neighbor, so my dad was like, he was gonna go record, he was gonna rap. So I was like, I, I want to get on the song, like, let me get on the song. Okay. So I had wrote, and then that was the first time I said, uh huh, uh, <laughs> right there. That was my first word, like, uh, uh huh. Yeah, that's that the first, word. That's first word. Word. <laughs> that was so, yeah, boom. I don't know, boy. Uh -oh. That's what happened. Uh, I recorded, I was, he, he let me get on the song, I recorded it. I went hard, he was like, he was surprised, like, he was like, just. Real surprise. I was like, this this is what I do. Like, this ain't nothing. And uh <laughs> after that, uh I chilled a little bit and then when I graduated, I put my first song there online. Okay. Like I think it's like on Facebook. That was probably like twenty twelve. Okay, okay. And then it went from there. I started kinda of like taking it serious because I got like a lot of good feedback. So it was like I need to keep, you know, doing it. Okay, so where did Miss G come from? I mean, I know, I know your name. You know what I'm saying. Okay. So I know you kind of blended in, but what? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But what made Miss G? All right. So, like a lot of a lot of people be like, uh, what the G? You, you stand for gangster? No, I don't stand for gangster. I ain't never call myself Miss Gangster. This no. So um, the Miss part. Okay, if you remember. Back in the MySpace days, all the females used to call themselves Miss Kiki, Miss This, Miss That. Like yeah. everybody had Miss. Yeah. But I didn't want to keep. I didn't want to put the same thing everybody else did. Like I didn't want to put M S or M I S. You know what I'm saying? Right, I right. want to make my shit look different. So I just said Miss G, and I just it just stuck with me. Like you know, the G is my first name. Yeah, cause that, that Miss G can run with everything with that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gorilla, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, gotcha. yeah, you could that's why I say, like, you know how Wayne be like the uh yeah. people like the L stand for. Yeah. I be changing my shit like all the time. Like the G stand for Glock, the G stand for like I change my shit just like him. Yeah, that's you know, that you know was that's saying? like that's my favorite rapper, so okay. So what type of music Artists. you grew up listening to? Well, I grew up, like I said, I grew up in church, so I grew up listening to gospel, mm -hmm. uh rap. Gospel and real, really yeah, R and B a little right. bit. Yeah. When I got older, I started listening to R and B more. Right, right, but right. But right. when I was young, it was straight K one O four. Oh yeah, K one O four. And my mama, when I when I'm in the car with love, she listen to gospel. Okay, so was you? So when you started out, was you was you with a label or was you just solo dolo? Like, what landed you the crown? Crown? I mean, oh, crown, crown bag. bag. Yeah. So when I first started out, I was with a label. 
Excuse me. Oh. Uh, the crown bag shit really is is me and kills the shit. Right. So I was on the label before that. Um, it wasn't no paperwork or nothing. Right. But we was just like, you know, fucking with each other. Uh, that was room level twenty seven. Um, and after that, I started. So basically, while I was with room level twenty seven, mm -hmm. uh, it was me and like a few other artists. While I was with them, I was going to kill the studio. I actually met him at uh, Media Tech. Okay. Okay. Um, and he was just like, "You come record, you know, over here." Or whatever he was just let me record free and at that time that's what i need i was like okay cool so he really kind of helped me like build my catalog up because right. he would just record me constantly record me but we ended up having crown bed oh really like it's our shit, you know right right uh so now nah, they made a thing made y'all made a stamp with it you know mm -hmm. like I, I ain't even gonna lie to you you know like just like you know, Seastra made a uh, stamp with uh, Clone Free. Yeah, y'all yeah, made a stamp with Crown Bay. I mean, you can't go around Dallas and not, you know, notice that now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So how you feel about that? You know what I'm saying? That accomplishment, like really putting something like together you. and putting in people's face to where they, they see it. Take notice, man. It feels feel sure. like well-deserved. Well deserved. Cause I know I put a lot of work. Yeah, you put a lot of work. Like one thing I know, yeah. I've seen you all around the city. You know what I'm saying? I tell a lot of people like, you, if it comes from CDs or if it's out there, you know, just meeting people. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make connections and doing shows. You always been out there on the um, forefront. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Is it is it is it hard for you? Really, just I know. Uh, do you have a team? Mm-hmm. And who you are? And what your team consists of? Um, team I'm with. Of course, I'm crown bag, so I'm in a with also. This nothing over family, which okay. is K Breezy's. Uh, it's like a label. It's really a team. Right, right. Uh, also a mastermind. That's my management though. Me and Watizi. Mm -hmm. We gonna mm -hmm. uh, mastermind with mm -hmm. you. So yeah, Drew really Hill, yeah. So you still with Drew Hill? Okay, alright, yeah, yeah. G Hill, G Hill, G Hill. I'm talking about Drew Hill. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, it was about Drew Hill, nigga. Second time, hey, G, right? you know, we on Cisco. <laughs> yeah, hey. Second time. Or the people that got their hair dyed yeah. today, that's what it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's funny. But now. Yeah, yeah. That, he, he my uh, business manager. Nah, that's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. So y'all keeping it thick like that. So, like, what's. What's the support factor like? Cause I see you and K Breezy, y'all over there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I like what y'all got going on. Y'all, well, y'all motherfucking goofy as fuck too. Man. <laughs> what, what's up with the the nut? The, what's that? No, <laughs> <laughs> you know that was how I did. You know what? Uh, well, I went tripping. I'm like, shit, let's do it. Right. Shit, just some content for for the ground. Right. You know shit, what I'm saying? I, I, I fuck with it cause it showed my. Really, your other side. Charismatic side. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then it was a good look. You know what I'm saying? Cause everybody was tuned in. And then it's like, two, it also separates all y'all. It gets to show us, you know, who's who. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, but you always been different, though, from everybody. Like, you always stood out more. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, now I ain't going to say like a sore thumb, but you always stood out. Like, where people gravitated to you more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, because you was always more laid back in the cut. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, what is it like? going through the process of, of making an album now, you know what I'm saying? You know, where like, do you have to pay for studio time? Do you have to, you know, like, what's it? Cause I know like for women, you know what I'm saying? Not to be, you know, putting anybody down, but mm -hmm. especially here in Dallas, women have a bag. They gotta, they gotta take care of home. They gotta take care of damn. They gotta take care of niggas. They gotta take care of studio <laughs> time. They gotta take care of car. Kids, kids ain't even nerds. I ain't even got no kids and I got kids. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, shit like yeah, that. Yeah. So how you how you balance all that? And then also then come in and just like I'm putting a project together. Right, that's and that's that's where I'm at now. Like my project finished, but like it's it's kinda hard. But like I said, I've been doing so long, I kinda found the balance, but that's why I be needing people, that's why I need my team so I can right. really just have a clear head because yo mind gets so filled up like I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Like right. I know I gotta do this and it's like you kinda get stressed out trying to balance it. But um how do I balance it? I kinda like I try to keep myself on the schedule like right. you know what I'm saying? Uh but I, I ain't gonna even lie, it's <laughs> sometimes I don't balance it out, sometimes I just <laughs> <laughs> Just be doing be like, fuck it. Go with the wind. Yeah, I just go with the flow. Right. So I know I, I feel you like shit. But yeah, I, I sacrifice like like you say, I got crazy, but like with me being a female, I do get 
favoritism sometimes. So, right, right. Like, this last uh tape, well, this tape that I'm about to drop, I ain't have to pay for no studio time. For right, right. My home, my partner got a studio. Like, I know, like, I know a lot of people's studios, they ain't right. gonna make me pay. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really ain't, just, I really ain't been paying for studio time this whole time, low key, but, like, with Kills, like, that's what I'm saying. I went from right. Kills to, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, that so, it helps. It helps. So what is it? What so what is it like? Cause you know, right now the game is changing, especially like when when we were coming up. You know, it was CD. You know what I'm saying? It was out that trunk. Woo -woo. Now we in the streaming world. Everything they got NFTs going on. Like, is it is it really beneficial rapping? Like, is it is it is it is it bringing in money for like those who really have that hunger and out there grinding and I'm putting they all into it and we gotta put them on these certain platforms, we gotta go here, we gotta go here. Is it is it beneficial? And when we putting in then where were we getting back? At first it wasn't. Right. At first I was um I, I ain't gonna lie, like this past probably like year or two, two uh, maybe three, um I really just started getting paid for it. Like, I was just doing shit, going broke, and not getting money back. <laughs> right, right, Like, that's right. how strong of, you know what I'm saying? Right, that's how right. strong my passion is. But uh, one day I did say, like, I can't keep doing this shit. Like, I got to get my business right, get all this shit right. But she features, like, that's, they don't, the features going to come. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shows every now and then, party or something. Uh, BMI, check. Like, oh, it's just yeah. it's different mm -hmm. ways, so. Yeah, it finally started kind of paying off. I still, I really, I don't feel like I got paid back what I put out. Right, what right, I, right. But <laughs> it's trying, it's trying that, to that six piece was a beast, and then your solo, or what was that? Uh, <coughs> that was the purple one, um, the uh, the crown bag one. The uh, oh zero dollar. Yeah, that one right there. That one right there was a beast. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, like, what are some things you wish you would have known before you started your career? Uh, okay, when I first got into it, of course, like, I was young, so I wasn't thinking, like, it's gonna be all this drum with, like, this blog shit, like, all this little shit. Right, right. I wasn't prepared, like, back then I wasn't, but I'm built for it, so it's not, it's, I ain't tripping, but I'm just saying I ain't know. Uh, what else? Like, I didn't know, I ain't know how to register music, like, I ain't know, I had to register music, I ain't know about, Masters, like I ain't know about a lot of stuff, but like I finally, like last time I was with y'all, uh -huh. man, I ain't know shit. <laughs> Probably the only thing I knew about was my right. But I didn't learn so much this thing, like right. I didn't really study my craft, and like that that CD shit, that, I ain't gonna lie, like I got up there, sold my CDs, sold all my CDs. Um, people fuck with me in the streets. I was going everywhere, like out of stores, whatever. But the streaming, I don't. Unless, like I said, like I said before, unless you got a whole bunch of streams, right? That money is gonna be small. So it's not like when you getting that CD and you getting that exactly. Red, right, like you, you actually getting more. You yeah. seeing that? Yeah, yeah. Seeing that. yeah. Hand -hand That's, I mean, right no, no taxes. No tax. The stream yeah, that exactly. my hand to your hand, and that money back right. to my hand. That's you know what right. Right. me. So man, what, what advice would you give somebody trying to pursue? You know, what I'm saying your like a career or in your little lane you in for the young people that's coming up don't come in this shit thinking next month you gonna be you gonna blow up like you gotta put in some work unless you get lucky really like a little pump or something but don't come in this shit thinking like oh yeah i'm gonna be fine rich and famous all i gotta do is put out because i know people literally say this all i gotta do is put out this video and I'm finna blow up, like, no, it take way more work oh, than Oh, give me this track, I'm finna blow you up, I'm finna <laughs> make you a hit, woo, woo. Yes. We're like, no, nah, it's a business. Boy, we've been doing exactly, this it's a business, it's like, a you business. gotta know that yeah, part. Yeah, real shit. You better, like, I wish I would've knew, like, to get, to put my shit, uh, to, oh, well, to, to market my shit right. properly. Right, Like, I wish I knew that, like, like I said, I was just putting shit out, I ain't right. know what the fuck. Right, right, right. But that's how we all start, though. No, that's how yeah. we all start, though. Like it, it's like it's a learning experience, though, for real. Like, and we all beat ourselves up about it too. At the end, we be like, "What the fuck?" Oh, I'm like, I was, <laughs> I should this shit. Like, what? Right, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, what's some resources that helped you along your way? People. People. Yeah. Like, like being really, around yeah, people. Yeah, being like, around people. Yeah. And know what the fuck they doing. <laughs> 
put me on game. I saw, for real. I saw, I saw, I saw my people on Square game. Like, for real. I saw put my people on game. Like put. For real, shit. I'm talking about niggas like that being my. You nigga just put these shows in mm. and whatever. You ain't got to. Yeah, Boom, thousand dollars. Boom, straight like that. You know what I'm saying? Register your shit, get your shit right. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't have people in your circle that ain't trying to, you know, hey, say, man, right. teach you something, like, oh, yeah, hey, show you something, you like, shit, you got to move around. That's what I learned. I learned that a long time ago, nigga. I got to move around. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But. Like, I ain't know about publishing or nothing like right. that. And that's where the money at. <laughs> right. That's where the money at. Publishing. You know what I'm saying? Publishing is that's the money. <laughs> publishing and leasing them out. I mean leasing the uh the rights to it shit. Yeah. Like for real, for real. Like so what's some influences? Like who who's who's the people who influenced you in your life coming up? Uh Wayne. <laughs> Wayne. Luane, <laughs> Gucci. Gucci. My granny, R.I.P. R.I.P. She, she was uh, called a rapping granny at church. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, R.I.P. rapping <laughs> granny, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. That was my influence for real. Like, when I first started putting music out, I was just straight trying to be like Wayne, like straight punchline, right. straight metaphors, like. <laughs> Then I started coming down on it because people were so dumb and brain and they brain so small. They so small minded. Oh yeah. So I was like, I feel dumb now a little bit, but I'ma still keep a couple punch punch lines in there, you know what I'm saying? Right on, right on, right on. Oh, what heavy. So what you what you what you got coming mm. on? What you got out now? What what what, what Miss G cooking on right now? Man, uh pay attention. Yeah. Man, mm -hmm. This is like it's different from my like any other project. Like I'm Harmonizing, singing and shit, like I'm doing some whole different shit. I, mean, so on the whole I was calendar. wondering if that was no. gonna happen because that's that church. Right. You know right. What I'm right. So I was gonna ask if you ever you influenced any of that into your music. And mm -hmm. now I got that answer coming. At first I ain't wanna do it because I ain't know how people will respond, but when I put out a uh, survey, which was me kinda like my first little harmonizing song, like, I got like real good feedback. Right. So, uh pay attention, yeah. This whole I think they're gonna really like it. Okay. They got some rap on there too, but. Oh, really? So tell us about, you know what I'm saying, Miss G. Like, who is Miss G? I'm a gangster. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gangster, my partner, bro. I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a go getter. I'm a visionary. Right. You know, I see shit before it happens. Right on. Literally, right on. like. Um, I, I have a strong, I, I got strong willpower, like, ambition. I'm ambitious. What's your sign? Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah, Scorpios. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they laid back, though. Scorpios are laid back, but you know what I'm saying? They we are. Can be go, yeah. Kind of fucked up in the head, too, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's cool though. But y'all go get it though. That's one thing about Scorpios. Y'all do go get it like a motherfucker. Ain't gotta hustle for something, everything. You know what I'm saying? You know, next next day. I'm whatever. Yeah, I told you. Scorpios have a hustle for everything, boy. I'm selling clothes, clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Shirts. For real. G-shirts. Oh, really? There we go. Where can we get that at? Website coming. Yeah. But for now, y'all gotta DM me. Oh, really? <laughs> you already know. Shit, where can they, where can they DM, uh, DM you at? Oh, M Z G underscore U N H U U H Miss G. Uh huh. Oh, really? do, do you have any? Do you have any like, like, like any failures or anything like that that you you know like in this game? Have you ever had any failures and and if not, you know what I'm saying? Like, would you, would you had any? Failures like as far as like. Like failures, like far as like things you've been really trying to accomplish, and then you you had failures and you learn from. You know what I'm saying along the way. You know what I'm saying. Like, what was like your biggest failure you learned from in the process of you doing music? Hmm. Uh, my biggest failure. Shit. Um, I just had one too. <laughs> oh shit. Um. For one, well, like I said before, for one, thinking I'm finna put a song out and it's just finna, I, I thought this a long time ago though, thinking it's just finna blow up shit, I feel like I failed with that, like, right. like yeah, uh, 
doing songs with people off the strength and they not never even putting a song out or like trying to promote it and nothing like that. Right, right, right. Uh, mm. Being too, like, people say I mean, but I'm really too nice. Right. Uh, I had to like put my foot down when people trying to get features and shit like, cause people bullshit so much and like I say, like I didn't, I got so many features like these niggas ain't <laughs> did nothing with the song. Like, I don't know. I I understand the stay song, but at the same time it's like, nigga, I can put my verse. I put this on my shit. Or I put this on somebody else. Who gonna right. put it in? Right. Like that's how I be feeling. Cause you know you finna go in on the nigga, especially when you getting a feature. Like yeah, I finna go in yeah, on that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Cause so I can't yeah. just do. Even if the song not all that good to me, I'ma still I'ma bring that out of life. Right. Fix. Oh, uh, really? You know what I'm talking about now. Before we get up out of here, you know, we always do our, you know, our top threes, you know what I'm saying? So we got to get our top three from Miss G, you know Hold what I'm up. talking about? Yes, sir. Any question that she might have asked? She no, might have no, no, I ain't gonna, that's my last question. I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? I'm saving that. I'm saving that for the last, you know what I'm saying? Because this is Miss G, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, know how, you know what I'm saying? They're like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, we support our artists, you know, we ain't got nothing but love for all of our artists. And then we uh, we look past the artistry, too, you know what I'm saying? We look um, to them as people, you know what I'm saying? So that's why we're here. we giving her flowers while she here, you know what I'm saying? I don't know anything can be, you know what I'm saying? We can be here in Miami one day, we can be over there in motherfucking Dubai the next, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Giving the people flowers while they here. So, like, I know she ain't smoking with us today, but have you ever smoked? Hell yeah. Have you? Okay, so what's your what? Today. Okay, uh, okay, what's your, what's your top three strains? Which you, what, Man, what I don't you? know, no. What, uh, she don't know. What, what was you like? Example, say one. Okay, like, you know, you got OG, you got, oh. you know what I'm saying? You got cookies, you got, you know what I'm saying? AK47, you got, uh, what? Runs. You got Runs. You got Diesel, Haze. I you know think I just fuck with the OG, like, I think. That's why I like this, cause that's what I mainly smoke that when I smoke. Yeah, the OG. Okay. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It just when I feel like it. Okay, so OG. Said, what's your favorite, yeah, what's your favorite so strain? Strange. You know, everybody. You know, I like it. Have you ever had a fucked up weed story? <laughs> oh hell yeah! Oh, you gotta tell hey, me. Yeah. I, I got to hear it. <laughs> Man, okay. <laughs> it, it, it's it's not that fucked. It's really fun. It's funny. So okay. Boom. Me and my, like she like my best friend. We stay in my mama. We we smoking. You know what I'm saying? We got super super hot. Boom. We we uh we go to we thinking we at our door. We trying to get back in the house. Uh -huh. We go to the wrong fucking door. We just beat on this door. Oh. Like we just beat on this door. It's dark. Uh -huh. And we we on we on Forest Lane. Oh, <laughs> I was no. on Forest Lane at the time. Okay. Man. So hell yeah. So we just knocking on the door. I'm like, bro, why the fuck? Why this whole? And I think, a matter of fact, I think I was trying to use a key too. I was like, I don't, I don't even really. But uh, I think I was trying to open the door and everything, like twisting that whole shit. So boom. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? So me and my homegirl, we look up at the same time. We like, bro, this is not the door number. We start running down the stairs like a bitch. We were laughing so hard. Did they come out? No, no. They oh, yeah, shit. no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They got to go high as hell at the wrong door. Yeah, wrong door. <laughs> trying to put the key in there. Trying to like, I'm like, bro, what if they would have kind of just started shooting at him? Like, oh, man. man. That's a yeah. crazy weed story. Look, this ain't, it ain't not like. Uh. So we go, uh, <laughs> we run downstairs. We, we sitting under the stairs and shit. Uh, we start hearing like. Jason, they then we start hearing shit. Oh. Bro, my mom, we kept hearing the same shit. I was like, bro, did you hear it? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, I heard that shit. Boy, we, 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 oh, they both heard it. They both heard it. We, we both heard that shit. Shit, they ain't lit like a motherfucker. Shit, I, nigga, shit. I, I don't know. I might want some of that shit. Get that book sold you that shit, nigga. Whoever sold Miss G that shit, give me some of that shit. I want to try it. <laughs> Let me ask some of that shit. Well, we were, well, we were. <laughs> That, that was the most funniest shit ever. <laughs> trying to get in that dough. Trying to get in the, but not even they dough, nigga. Trying yeah, to get in that dough. Bro, we look at the same time like, hey, this is not the fucking dough. So, okay, so we still in our top threes right quick. Okay, so I want you to give me your top three gospel singers. Top three gospel singers. Oh, you you slick for that. Look. <laughs> trying to, okay. Yolanda Adams. Ooh. She number one. Off top. Off mm. top. Off top. 
Uh, two, three, mm. I like. Uh, Wait, uh, what is that? Oh, what the heck? I mean, that ain't even gospel, bro. No, it ain't even gospel. Is that one of you? Hey, what, that what's wrong with it? I'm high. I told you this shit. Ooh, what's the hot one? We got a weed story right now. This a weed story. Shit, goddamn me, we lit. <laughs> All right, come on. Uh, uh. <laughs> Bro, let me say, let me say. Uh, uh, uh. I like Fred Henry. Okay. That's two. Right. Me too. That's two. Oh, that's okay. two. We got one more. Number three. Uh. Um, uh. Oh, what's that fucking lady? Damn, what's that lady name? Oh, it's Gospel fucking lady. Right, Man. I can't say. Forgive her, Jesus. Forgive her, Jesus. Like she got me talking about forgive me, forgive her, Jesus. <laughs> Look, okay, uh, I thought about that too. Before you said that. Um, I don't know, y'all. Uh, 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 CC one? Mm. I think it's one of the one one of the people. Ah, that's CC. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah, CC. Okay. okay, all right. No, no, no. Now we're like, boom, now we got to talk to You look like that. That was like, okay, I ain't want to know that nobody know, but I'm going to go ahead and. Nah, but she and, uh, did it. She, she, yeah. I'm talking about she stayed through it. You know what I'm saying? That was strong. Okay, top three, top three rappers of all time. Why you want to do this? Not yes. all time. Yes, all time. Yeah, because three top three rappers of all time. Yeah, Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Three top three. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Ooh, bro. Oh, bro. Alright, Wayne, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Mm. We got Lil Wayne. We knew that was coming. We need to have something with the lights just damn on the just boom. <laughs> <laughs> top three, top three favorite. My favorite. Mm-hmm. Two, Gucci. Gucci. Shout out Gucci, Gucci man. Yeah, Straight up. Good wop. Mm-hmm. Uh, number three. I would say myself, but. I ain't gonna include myself. Mm. Even though I am my favorite rapper. Already, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, all time. Damn, I don't know. I don't even say it. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> mm. We on it. We on it. Look, y'all, y'all, I hate this. I mean, you know, if you want to give a couple extra. Uh, right, right, right. Last one is Eminem. Oh, yeah, that one respect me. Whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh shit, I ain't got no mm. liquor in my cup. Boy, hold on. Nigga, she said Eminem. She gave it. And I don't even listen to this man no more. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, he just. I mean, right, his, his, the old shit is, is, yeah, is jamming. I mean, that's where that's Marshall where Mathers. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I done jammed. Y'all know what's like Jay Z? Nah, nah, nah. I, I, mm -hmm. I ain't know what you were gonna say. Oh. I'll wait. Just you know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, we off the, the top three. So this is my question I always ask all my people. You know what I'm saying? When they come here and they touch down on their podcast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you was in my shoes. Is there a question that I didn't ask you that you would ask yourself? Mm. See, I be making them think on my podcast. You see what I'm saying? Up. See, it be going down, you know what I'm saying? Because we be trying to get into it, you know what I'm saying? We trying to get in the mind of our people out here, you know what I'm saying? Because we, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Cool. We more than what y'all think out here, you know what I'm talking about? We beautiful out here, you know what I'm talking about? I love my city. Triple D stand up. You know what I'm talking about? Square business. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I don't even. Uh, do you think it's a question that you ain't asked me? I think it is, but. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. Oh, now. Okay. Already. You happy now? I'm you know what I'm talking about? I, wait, what? But no, I'm saying, yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. I'm happy now because she. I know a lot that. I know way more than I knew last year. Yeah. So That's it makes me so. happy. Oh, yeah. really? Nah, that's what's it up. It makes a difference. You know what I'm saying? Man. So, man, what can they be reach, Miss G? You know what I'm saying? Give, come on, any shout outs you want to give anybody, the floor is yours. You know what I'm talking about? Take the floor. Man, y'all reach me at uh, Instagram, MZG underscore U N H U U H. Uh huh. Uh, if y'all want to book me, email me. It's right there in my bio on Instagram. 
uh, shout out to my fans because I love y'all. Y'all be, y'all do not play about me. Like, y'all be going to war for me. So shout out to y'all, my real fans that's been here since 20 goddamn 13. Right. They still here. Rock it up. Shout out to my team. Shout out NOF, Mastermind, Crown Bag Sheet. Uh huh. You know how we do it once again. It's another episode going hard. You know, you know how we do it. You know, it's my everything's in the description. Make sure y'all hit the description. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all go check out Miss G. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all get tuned in to her motherfucking YouTube channel. Check out all her videos. She's going mixtape on the way. Yeah, mixtape on the way. Fantasy. Straight like that. You know what I'm talking about? And we lit, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Get up out of here, bitch. Yeah. In five, four, three, two, one, and it's lit. And welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. And we got a special, special guest again, once again, in this house oh, right man. now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I've been bragging, you know what I'm saying? But she, she finally here. Oh, Miss yeah. G in the building, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Oh, uh -huh. she went out my ass. Uh -huh. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The lady in the house already. Hey, man, she, she granddaughtered in, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, she granddaughtered in all the way. Yeah, oh, yeah. Back, you know what I'm saying? Certified yeah. Triple D, Oak Cliff, that way, you know what I'm talking about? Deuce, Deuce, and Mo, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Square business. So tell everybody how you doing, Miss G. Shit, I'm doing wonderful, man. I thank y'all for having me. Oh, uh, I'm full. I just ate. I'm feeling good. What you get? What you get to eat? No. Man, I just got that new chicken sandwich. <laughs> McDonald's, and I don't even eat McDonald's, but that hoe. Oh, we fed like motherfucker with the mayo on that motherfucker. Make sure y'all send that check this way. Oh, spicy sauce. Oh, yeah, it's going down with the spicy sauce. So, you know how we do it. You know what I'm saying? On Lit Podcast, you know, we get thrown. So, everybody, make sure you roll up your motherfucking sweets. Hit that motherfucking like and subscribe button. You know what I'm talking about? Miss G ain't smoking with us today, so she gonna keep it playing and sip on that motherfucking wine over there. Oh, yeah, you see that. But what you pull up, nigga? What you sipping on? She said the Scotto. Whoa, she got the Scotto. Oh, the Scotto. Yeah, that's the pink Scotto. You know, that motherfucker get you, get you warm in the motherfucker. Look, it had a Bellagio Moscato or some shit. This nigga can't read. Look, I couldn't read, but it had a B and some L's and some IGO's in it. So, what you got for the people who out there don't know, you know what I'm talking about? Like, once again, this is Miss G in the building. And I want people to know how long you been doing music. I've been doing music since I was eight. But I started taking it serious when I was about 17, 18. 17, 18? So, I ain't finna tell y'all. Okay, 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 okay. No, we ain't got to win. We've been a long time. It's been some years, been over five years, been over six years. No, this. A long time. Grass grinding, you know what I'm talking about. So, what inspired you to do music? What inspired me? Who inspired you? So, like, I don't know. I really just started writing poems. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It just when I feel like it. Okay, so. Said, what's, your favorite yeah, what's your favorite strain? You know, everybody, you know, I like it. Have you ever had a fucked up weed story? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, you gotta tell hey, me. Yeah. I, I got to hear it. <laughs> Man, okay. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's not that fucked up. It's really fun. It's funny. So, okay. boom. Me and my, like, she's like my best friend. We stay in my mama. We we smoking, you know what I'm saying? We got super super hot, boom. We we uh we go to we thinking we at our door. We trying to get back in the house. Uh -huh. We go to the wrong fucking door. We just beat on this door. Oh. Like we just beat on this door. It's dark. Oh. And we we on we on Forest Lane. Oh. <laughs> I was oh. on Forest Lane at the time. Okay. So hell yeah. So we just knocking on the door. I'm like, bro, why the fuck? Why this hoe? And I think, matter of fact, I think I was trying to use a key too. I was like, I don't even, I don't even really. But uh, I think I was trying to open the door and everything, like twisting that hoe and shit. So boom. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? So me and my homegirl, we look up at the side and we like, bro, this is not the door number. We start running down the stairs like a bitch. We were laughing so hard. Did they come out? No, no, they come out. Oh, hell shit. No. Hell no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They got the show high as hell at the wrong door. At the wrong door. <laughs> trying to put the key on there. They were trying to, like, I'm like, bro, what if they would have kind of just start shooting our ass? Like, oh, man. man. That's a yeah. crazy weed story. Look, this ain't, it ain't not like. Uh. So we go, uh, we run downstairs. We, we sitting under the stairs and shit. Uh, 
we started hearing like Jason that Dee-dee. we started hearing shit. Oh. Bro, on my mom, we kept hearing the same shit. I was like, bro, did you hear it? Oh, like, Hell yeah, I heard that shit. Well, we, 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 oh, they both heard. Both of them heard. Shit, it was yeah. lit like a motherfucker. Shit, I, <laughs> nigga, shit. I, I don't know. I might want some of that shit. Get that who sold you that shit, nigga? Whoever sold Miss G that shit, give me some of that shit. I want to try it. <laughs> Let me have some of that shit. Well, we were, well, <laughs> that was the most funniest shit ever. Trying to get in that dough. Trying to get in the money. Not even they dough, nigga. Trying to get in that dough. Bro, we look at the same time like, hey. This is not the fucking dough. So, okay, so we still in our top threes right quick. Okay, so I want you to give me your top three gospel singers. Top three gospel singers. Oh, you you slick for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yolanda Adams. Ooh. She number one. Off top. Off top. Mm. Off top. Uh, two. Mm. I like. Wait. Oh, what is that? Oh, my God. That ain't even gospel, bro. No, no. It ain't even gospel. Yeah. 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 You're not nailing this gospel shit. That, that, that one, one you. Which one was it? I'm high. I told you this shit. What's the high song? What's the high song? We got a weed story right now. This a weed story. Shit. Damn, man. We lit. Forgive me. 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 <laughs> All right, come on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, let me say, let me say, uh, uh, uh. I like Fred Hemmings. Oh, okay. That's two, me too. That's two. Oh, that's two. Okay. We got one more. Number three. Uh. Um, uh. Oh, what's that? Nobody know, but I'm gonna go in. Nah, here but and, she uh, did it. She, she, yeah. I'm talking about she stayed through it. You know what I'm saying? That was strong. Okay, it's top three, top three rappers of all time. Why you wanna do this? Not yes. all time. Yes, all time. Three, top three. Dead or alive. Ooh. Dead or alive. Oh, bro. Alright, Wayne, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Mm. We got Lil Wayne. We knew that was coming. We need to have something with the lights just damn on the boom. <laughs> <laughs> top three, top three favorite, my favorite. Mm-hmm. Two, Gucci. Gucci. Shout out Gucci, Gucci man. Yeah, Straight up. Gucci. Mm-hmm. Uh, number three. I would say myself, but I ain't gonna include myself. Mm. Even though I am my favorite rapper. Oh, but, really? You know what I'm talking about? Uh. Time. I was damn no. I ain't gonna say good. Fuck it. We on it. We on it. I hate this. I you, right. you know, if you wanna give a couple extra. Uh right, right, right. Last one is Eminem. Mm. Oh. Yeah, that one respect me. Whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. See, oh, oh shit, I ain't got no mm. lift in my cup. Boy, hold <laughs> Come on. Nigga, she said him and now she gave and it. And I don't even listen to this man no more. What? No, okay. Well, he just. I mean, around his, his, the old shit is, is, yeah, the is old jamming. Shit. I mean, that's where it gets. Yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 so like we off the top together. three. So this is my question I always ask all my people, you know what I'm saying, when they come here and they touch down on their podcast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you was in my shoes, is there a question that I didn't ask you that you would ask yourself? Mm.
See, I be making them think on my podcast. You see what I'm saying? Dope. See, it be going down, you know what I'm saying? Because we be trying to get into it, you know what I'm saying? We trying to get in the mind of our people out here, you know what I'm saying? Because we, you know what I'm saying? We more than what y'all think out here, you know what I'm talking about? We beautiful out here, you know what I'm talking about? I love my city. Triple D stand up, you know what I'm talking about? Square business, you know what I'm saying? Damn, I don't even. Uh, what, do you think it's a question that you ain't asked me? I think it is, but. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. Oh, now. Okay. Oh, already. You happy now? I'm you know what I'm talking about? Cause I, wait, what? Oh, no, I'm saying yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm happy now cause she. I know a lot that I know way more than I knew last year. Yeah. So it makes so. me happy. Oh, already. Yeah. Nah, that's what's I mean, up. It makes a difference. You know what I'm saying? So, man, what can they meet, reach, Miss G? You know what I'm saying? Give, come on, any shout outs you want to give anybody, the floor is yours. You know what I'm talking about? Take the floor. Man, y'all reach me at uh, Instagram, MZG underscore U N H U U H. Uh huh. Uh, if y'all want to book me, email me. It's right there in my bio on Instagram. Uh, shout out to my fans because I love y'all. Y'all be. Y'all do not play about me, like, y'all be going to war for me. So, shout out to y'all, my real fans that's been here since 20 goddamn 13. Right. They still here. Rock and stars. Shout out to my team. Shout out NOF, Mastermind, Crown Bay Sheet. Uh-huh. You know how we do it once again. It's another episode going hard. You know, you know how we do it. You know, it's my everything's in the description. Make sure y'all hit the description. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all go check out Miss G. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all get tuned in to her motherfucking YouTube channel. Check out all her videos. She's going mixtape ham. On the way. Yeah, mixtape on the way. Fantastic. Straight like that. You know what I'm talking about? And we lit, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Get up out of here, bitch. Growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit, but I always knew that I would be.